That's why we call them beasts. The slums of Nairobi, dead bodies of young poor men, are turning up on the streets almost every day. It's an underground war against crime. The community, experts and insiders say they are executed by the police, without charges, without trial, because they are allegedly criminals. It's impossible to give the exact figures, but modern cop guesses about 10 people are executed in Nairobi slums every day. That would make it more than 3,500 police murders per year. So. For many police, the otherwise vibrant life in the slum is deemed worthless. Outside the affected neighborhoods in the rest of the country, most killings are not reported or are downplayed. Crime is rife, the prisons are full, and no one remembers how the extrajudicial killing started in the first place. They were my friends, like brothers to me. And it hurt me a lot. Here in the slum, the community says the police are slaughtering an entire generation. There are so many guys who have been killed, but we can't, we can't say anything. Yeah. So, wale wote we are here in solidarity with you if you've lost a loved one. Na kama hautapoteza mtu, usiseme that mtu, at mtu akiuliwa kama ni muizi ni sawa, until it comes to your doorstep. That is when you're going to feel the pinch. Let us not rejoice when people's sons are being killed. Let us not rejoice when people's siblings are being done away with. Kama utembe kwetu ghetto, kama utembe kwa imta ya masta. Ukiwa youth na wewe ni mgeto, wanakuita criminal, wanasema kill them all. We are subjected into degrees of intimidation and violence. We are not independent in our own country. We are like refugees. Jesus going to wipe since every corner in a smell death. Kila mtaro ina flow of blood. Get a painted na uzuni hadi na ugopa. Na ugopa since naishi maisha ya saa hii. Any time unaweza sikia wai. Atuishie Nimechoka kusikia ukiniambia vile mambo itakuwa barabara vile mtaani utatujengea barabara vile babu utamjaza nywele kwa kipara juu si ulishatubebanga kama fala Size tima imekatwa maji imekatwa kuna madawa hospitalini kwa ni change yako inakuja lini ah donda keep change mimi nashukia hapa I poor haifanyi ile kazi inatakikana ifanywe Kuna watu wengi sana wameuliwa Wanaenda kupiga report wanatafuta hiyo ofisi ya juu huko kwa Epoa 
wanapiga report na haifanyi kazi haifanywi kama ipoa inataka kusaidia watu wa ghetto ambao wanauliwa na wanateswa na mapolisi waende ghetto ipoa waende wafungue ofisi wapi ghetto hii mambo ya kusema wanataka kukaa kwa high office tunapoteza pesa shut down ipoa ipoa is not helping us okay tuko na injustices nyingi sana Kenya hii na mimi nina support sana justice center working group tare 17 ndio mtoto wangu alishipo na hao kwa polisi ya buruburu na kutoka hapo mpaka sasa sijaridhika hata aipoa walijaribu kufanya hiyo uchunguzi na hakuna ripoti yoyote nimepewa na aipoa na hata wakati huu nangojea tu ili serikali hata kama ni uhuru anisaidie ili nipate maiti ya mtoto wangu hata kama ni mifupa ali, alizikwa nipea mifuta, mifupa ya mtoto wangu nieda nikapeleka ili niweze kuonyesha watoto wake pahadi nizika baba yao tumeongozwa ni akina mama ambao anapigania haki za watoto wao ambao wameuliwa na hii ishara ni ya kuonyesha kwamba eh third liberation imeanza mapambano ya uhuru tena yameanza kwa sababu uhuru hatujapata bado sio hatujapata uhuru lakini kuongozwa na kina mama kiongozwa ni mama mambo ni lazima awe mazuri kwa hiyo vijana kwa sababu mmeungana kupigania haki uh, ni lazima mwe makini na muendelee na muongozo na wao kina mama uh, ili kuikomboa nchi hii if you read the constitution the police and the army exist to help us to protect us and not to kill us I want us to unite kwa kila kila mtaa and we have a jobless march because that's what we need because as long as you say our boys and girls are getting killed by the police hawana makazi kuna vijana ambao wanaiba kwa mtaa tunajua wanaiba ni juana job wale ambao tumechagua tutafutie kazi au tupati kazi at the end of the day tutakufa sisi wote so hii energy tuko nayo saa hii tulizaitumia kuandamana tuchie makazi 